Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. I am pretty tired um, from everything that's gone on. You know, it's kind of emotionally draining, plus I was up late and out all day because um, I ended the last video that I did with the share because I was explaining, you know, how I picked up on the situation before before it happened, didn't realize that's what it was until, you know, the information came in basically. But during that reading, I I was shaking uncontrol uncontrollably, like shivering so bad. I was so cold and I'm like, what the hell is going on? And that lasted even after the reading. And I'm like, why am I so cold? Well, I was wearing her jewelry for one. I do psychometry. And um, when I really dive into this reading, I'm gonna take that off just because, just to see if, um, it makes it a little bit easier to read, but I found out because that video ended with the phone call from the hospital letting me know that she was being transported to a bigger hospital that could handle the severity of what's going on um, to the best of their ability at least. And she coded on the way there. Um, they brought her back and they, I found out today that they, they lowered her, um, her body temperature because they want, you know, her brain to give us some time to heal and, you know, like slowly warm her up so her heart, her heart functions better or something. Um, but that was happening while I was freezing and shaking, um, uncontrollably during that reading and after because that's what was happening. They were cooling her, her body temperature down, um. I was like, holy crap, because I was feeling the breathing, I was feeling suppressed. And it's weird because like where I get sensations on my face in certain areas, especially right here, it kind of felt like someone was squeezing my cheeks like this, but not really hard. That was the pressure I was getting. Well, she has these pads like pushed in on her face to hold the breathing tube in and stuff. And I'm like, oh, well, that's what that is. Um... But yeah, so that's why that was happening because that's what she was going through and I didn't find out till today when I brought her son there to see her and um, so I could talk to the doctors and, and help him understand what was going on and, and whatever. So it's not looking good, but I'm not here to talk about that. I just wanted to mention it because that's pretty much what's been going on. Um, and I am a medium and I pick up on that stuff. I mean, when it comes to her son, when we're sitting in the car, um, cause I hadn't, I wasn't crying or anything and, uh, all of a sudden out of nowhere, my eyes started welling up and I wanted to be like, no, 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 like try to blink it away. And then I heard him sniffling and I was like, oh, he's crying. And it happened twice in the vehicle and both times I started welling up before I knew he was crying. And then I'm like, all right, I'm definitely feeling him just saying, but, um, yeah. It happens. Someone might want to take uh, their lucky shot with you. The reason why I'm doing this reading is because I want to focus on something other than all the chaos that's going on right now because it's extremely draining and um, I can only imagine, you know, how he's feeling and stuff because I know he's pretty tired. He hasn't been sleeping so that, but yeah. I wouldn't be able to either. I, I didn't really sleep much last night. I had, I was just like, whoa, I was reeling from everything. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, within this reading, I feel like there's someone who might want to message you. They might speak to you online um, or someone's taken their lucky shot or, or taking a risk or a chance um, through social media or online because there's some information that's coming out on the internet. It could be on Facebook, any social media platform, but it feels like lots of text messages, lots of phone calls, lots of information, sharing information online. I love you. Um, so someone might want to tell you that they love you or people are just sharing the love like I love you so much. And I know that's going on for my son's friend because they're sending him a lot of love because of the situation but this feels like someone that you're not you're not really associating with or talking to might want to reach out and say something to you because it feels like they were kind of blocked off before whoever this person is dropping in someone wants to drop in or this is someone that used to just pop into your house or something um 
this blessing is just gonna fall in your lap is what it feels like so this person just might show up out of nowhere or message you out of nowhere something like that there's some blessing that's just like whoop, there you go because <laughs> uh, there's a level of success here um some of you in this situation you them whoever is successfully completing a karmic cycle like you've overcame um whatever patterns are going on in your life whatever the situation is someone's overcoming some obstacles uh you'll get through this you're coming out on the other side is what it feels like it's like the light at the end of the tunnel and i don't mean in a death capacity i mean like there's hope for the future because I've worked through this, this, and this, and now I'm on the other side of the problems. So someone is successfully overcoming some issue in their life, and it might have something to do with being open and vulnerable, showing vulnerability, and um, lowering defenses. So whoever was very defensive with you, whether it was you, yourself, or somebody around you, I feel like I want to let my guard down. Somebody else could be unblocking someone online or they already did or they're thinking about it. But it's like I'm not walled off against this person or these people anymore. Um, or that's how they're feeling and this person might want to approach you. We do have the High Priestess of Water, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is extremely intuitive. Um, it's just... It could be psychic abilities, mediumship, anything like that. But it feels like just being in the know, no matter what that means to you. And I feel like if any of you were blocking off your intuition or whoever you're dealing with was, I feel like you're more open. You're more open to messages. You're more, more open to information, spiritual guidance, spiritual information. You're open to spirit, period. Or you're opening somebody else up. Um, cause I just, I feel like maybe there was a lack of understanding when it comes to stuff like that, your intuition and whatever, like listening to your gut feeling, uh, cause somebody's heart chakra was shut down and I feel like that's opening up. Like I want to take a chance here. We have treasure Island cause this is like a magical experience this is what it feels like. Like what you've been waiting for, your treasure chest is, is coming in. It's been moving towards you very slowly, but like slowly working on something slowly working on yourself i feel like that some of you have been slowly hammering down someone's wall without even realizing it and i feel like success the wall is gone or the door is open to you something like that doors are opening up between you and another person so there's an opportunity to make some positive change or to move forward with whoever this is yeah, because someone's very open. I'm open to this now. I wasn't open to it before is what it feels like. There's someone in a situation who just wasn't understanding the dynamic between the two of you. They didn't understand you. Maybe they weren't willing to look beyond their closed-mindedness. And now they're broadening. The spectrum is broadening, basically. They're looking at things from a totally different viewpoint. Possibly because of spirit, it's a scene. Oh, this is, someone's mind is changing. And it's changing for the better. Could be you, them, whoever. I'm so tired right now. That just hit me out of nowhere. Like, yeah, I'm tired from all of this, but... I don't know. In the back of my head hurts right here. Who would do that? Like, ugh. Because I feel like I'm pushing my head down. Isn't that what happens when you like put your hands behind your head? Police officers and stuff. Somebody could be dealing with the law. Because this doesn't feel like, oh, I'm laying back. This feels like I'm pushing my head down. Like, what the hell? Hands behind your head. Like, that's what that feels like. <laughs> so, like, someone could be getting arrested for something. Yeah, someone could be getting arrested for something. What the hell? There's someone here who isn't changing. They fear change for one, but this feels like what I, like I said, there's something that's just going to fall in your lap like a blessing, and this blessing might seem bad, but it's 
not like it's bad for someone or some people or something someone might suddenly walk away what is going on here what is this i feel like somebody's fearing a happily ever after they could have been fearing you moving forward someone's trying to overcome their fears potentially potentially when it pertains to their intuition or yours like oh you know you know a lot i'm scared of this but i feel like i'm trying to overcome some fears there's a problem i'm gonna start sneezing now i don't know what that's about so this could have something to do with vices maybe somebody has allergies or something but um why am I getting so tired again? I'm gonna sneeze and I'm tired. Oh, my ear's ringing, holy crap. Someone's phoning it in, just saying. Um, Cause it keeps making me wanna just close my eyes like, uh, what the fuck is it? Hmm, I don't know. Um, anyways, let's see, maybe we'll find out. Someone might need their vehicle to be towed or something, or there's something significant with a tow truck, a towing company. I don't know, someone did something they shouldn't have done. That's what it feels like, and maybe it's coming out. It's like what you've always known is coming to light. Yeah, because there's a painful ending here. Betrayal. Because I feel like I wasn't open to this information before, but I am now. Like, I didn't want to believe it, or someone didn't believe it. Because there's some, t there's some type of sudden change. Something's going to happen suddenly, like a breakdown of situation. And it could be because you're... A level of success is coming in for you some a blessing or whatever something good's coming in for one person which is going to create this breakdown this change and someone's fearing someone's working against someone but someone's fearing a level of betrayal someone's fearing a level of betrayal someone's fearing a painful ending under open and vulnerable I feel like someone's walls were up because it got betrayed a lot out in the past. It's really hurting the back of my head. Holy crap, I feel like I just got kicked in the head or something. Um, it's like it's hard to open up. It's hard to be vulnerable because, um, because of getting hurt. Because people stab you in the back whenever you open up to them, you know? So it's something like that. So someone, I feel like that's why someone was walled off. Especially if this is a healthy situation. But this feels like being open to the wrong person or the wrong people. But not spiritually. Like being open to, oh my head, holy shit. Being open to, I feel like it just cracked my head. Um, being open to, why is this so hard to say? To the wrong people, like knowing... That there's a problem feeling like your intuition is going something's wrong here um like something's wrong with you this whatever and it's almost like knowing that someone's a problem or that there is a problem and not wanting to be open to that because you don't want to believe it you don't want to believe that so and so is a freaking problem like you know what i mean like that they would do that to you so this could be pertaining to someone you trust because I did say something's going to fall in your friggin' lap. And it does have to do with finding something out. Like a level of clarity. Could have something to do with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It definitely could be a, a masculine Scorpio because we have the tower here. But <coughs> it's like a sudden change. It's like the tides are turning. The tables are turning. So if somebody had all the control and the power... Or they thought they did. They don't. Because some... I don't know. Something's switching around. Someone's bullshit's getting revealed. With the Five of Cups. 
which is a sense of sadness. I'm sorry I hurt you. Oh, I heard that when I first hit record. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So someone's sorry that they hurt your feelings, that they that they betrayed you, that they said this, did this, whatever, that they, I don't know, someone could have been talking shit, but I feel like there's someone here who's focused on the negative. They're focused on, you know, what went wrong between you guys or what went wrong in the past for them, you, whoever, whatever. I don't know, I feel like someone was trying to ruin shit for you because they were upset. Because they were either mad at you or over something that happened in the past. Hmm. What's this ten swords you got? Being left out. Five of pentacles. Someone could be keeping money from someone. Not juggling anymore. Because it's like, I don't know what to do. But you know exactly what to do. Someone's getting left out. I don't know. I almost feel like I don't want you to be successful. I don't want people to believe you. Whether this has to do with tarot or spiritual messages or not. It's like whatever this is, whatever this beautiful blessing is for you. If it's a relationship or a career path, a creative endeavor, whatever it is, it will bring a level of success to you, for you, what have you. And I feel like someone was trying to control whatever this is. They're trying to ruin something. They're trying to break down a situation for you. That's why they were, they were betray betraying you. Because they didn't want you to leave them out. Oh my god. I keep feeling like I'm getting hit in the back of the head. What is that? Ouch. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. It's like ringing someone's bell. Someone's gonna ring someone's bell. I'm just saying like ding. Ding your fucking fries are done. Oh, it hurts. What is that? I just, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what's causing it because it doesn't feel like internal. It feels like the back of my head is getting bashed or something. Like I got my hands behind my head again. Someone might get arrested for what they did. Could have something to do with money as well, but I don't know why. What the fuck? Like, I can't believe this is happening right now. I can't believe I'm going to jail. Someone's getting busted for something. Someone's gonna go to jail. Huh. And I don't feel like they're gonna have much support because of whatever bullshit they were involved in or whatever. Huh. Yeah, put your hands behind your head. Someone's going to jail. Could be a child or someone's going to jail for something that has happened in the past. Even if it was the recent past, like, something's resurfacing for someone and it's, they're not going to be happy about it. I'm just going to say. Anyways, is there anything else we need to know? Maybe someone's getting arrested this weekend. Who knows? We have death and ending and change with the... Nine of Wands, which is perseverance, pushing through. I don't know, you just wouldn't give up. There's something that you did not give up on. Something or someone. And you're going to be successful because of it. Because you didn't, you didn't give up. It's like, yeah, this is painful. Yeah, I've been through a lot. Yeah, this sucks. It was confusing. It was blah, blah, blah. Whatever it was. You know, whatever happened. But I'm still standing strong. You know, like I'm holding on to this wand. And even, even when this one goes up behind me, I got one more. You know, because tens are ending. So this is like, I'm almost ready to give up. But I'm not. I'm going to fight. I'm going to push through this painful situation. I'm going to push through whatever this is and come out on the other side. I need to push through this in order for this positive change to happen. Yeah, I feel like in order for your manifestations to come in, you need to push through something that's difficult. Because you're, I'm sorry, you're a lover, not a fighter, but 
I feel like you are a fighter when you need to. You fight for the right things and the right people or someone around you does. But <coughs> um, you might not like to fight and you don't want to cause conflict, but you will if you have to. You know what I mean? It's like, I will fight for what I believe in. That's what it feels like. I will fight for what is friggin' right. So, all right. What's up with death? Because that, it feels like it has something to do with the dead. Like, someone on the other side or multiple people on the other side are leading you to your blessing. Like, they're, they're guiding you. Um, whether you speak, whether you're medium or not. Whether you speak about it or not. You know what I mean? Um, but it just feels like there's a shift happening. Because we saw the tower, which is a breakdown in a situation. And then when things break down, death comes in. There's the change and transformation. You might be a little walled off against this person. It's almost like if this is another person to you, they were walled off to you. And now like, you're like, all right, I tried and tried and tried and tried. Um, this is really difficult. Like, I don't know if I want to try anymore, but you haven't fully given up. I feel like the change is, is their walls have come down and you're, you're semi-guarded. Like, I'm not going to block you out, but I'm going to side-eye you. Like, what do you, what's going on here? You know, like, why now? What's up with this? Be your true self is what I just heard. So if anyone comes towards you, they need to be their authentic self um, in order for you to trust them. I'm going to do with marriage. Someone's marriage is coming to an end. Or this has to do with someone that you were married to or committed to. Like highly committed to. Um, some of you could have been married to a Scorpio. Not necessarily, but roses and rings are significant as well. I don't know. I feel like whoever, you might feel this person approaching you like they want to say something. Because you know that they want to make some type of change between the two of you. Even if it's just friendship and stuff. But for some reason, I feel like you'd be like, why are you here? Like, you know what I mean? What's your deal? There's a fucking wall. You will be shown the way, so don't worry. I do feel like err on the side of caution. But listen to your intuition with this person, with this situation. Because it feels like the past is returning. This person screwed you over in some way. Or you were highly committed to them and you ha you got divorced or you guys broke up or whatever. Whoever that is, is headed your way and you're going, what, why, what do you want? Um, <coughs> it's because they see something, <clears throat> they're seeing something online. They're seeing how, how honest you are, how loyal you are, how open you are. I don't know, I feel like somebody misjudged someone. So they could have been closed off to to you, even if they were committed to you in the past. And it's like, why'd I do that kind of thing? Um, and for some of you, there's someone here who might be ending a marriage to so that you can be in their life because their partner hates you. Like, it's like, okay, well, I'd rather be friends with so-and-so than be with your ass, even if it's not a romantic thing. I don't know, it's like getting rid of unhealthy people. Like, you're going to tell me who I can be friends with, you know? Um, but I feel like you'll be, you're being guided um, either towards this person or away from them. But everyone comes into our life for a reason at different times for lessons. And sometimes they, re they return or, you know, things resurface, even if it's not a person, to see if we've learned those lessons. And that doesn't mean you have to turn a blind turn a blind eye and push someone away immediately and just block them and whatever. <coughs> I mean, <clears throat> if this person was abusive and like just rotten to the core, the lesson probably is uh, let them go. You're better than that. But it could just boil down to maybe it was the wrong time when you guys connected before and this person had a lot of growing up to do. They had to wake up spiritually, whatever, or just they had to wake up and smell the damn coffee in reality here down on earth. Uh, it's like, oh, I made all the wrong choices here. There's a realization. Um, and sometimes, you know, it can work out when, when you set those healthy boundaries. Like, all right, we can see where this is going to go. But I'm not going to, it's not going to be the same 
as it was before because I'm not the same person anymore. Do you know what I mean? Um, so that's why some people return as well. <sighs> Success. But then we have the wall. Um, misunderstanding. Yeah, there was a misunderstanding here. Someone fell for temptation or weakness. You're their weakness. Because we have heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Someone has a lot of feelings for you. And I almost feel like... It's so funny that pig is here. Beware of greed because before I hit record, I heard, why are you so damn greedy? There's someone who's greedy. But anyways, um... Maybe they just wanted money and they're like, oh, I'm going to go find a treasure over here. I'd rather have the material things versus love. This person might not have understood your love. They might not have understood, you know, why you said certain things and did certain things, but you did it out of love. Um, they rejected you because they didn't understand what was going on. Ear. Something to do with someone's ear. So someone could be listening. <clears throat> I don't know. Or they cover their ear. You got hit in the ear or something. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Oh, more or less love. Increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. I don't know, I feel like money's coming in for some of you because you are so loving. So just be, be cautious. Listen to your intuition with whoever this is because I feel like if you feel like that sinking feeling like what? It's not just questioning things, but it's almost like, okay, this doesn't feel right. Something feels wrong here. You're probably not wrong because someone might try to manipulate you into thinking like, oh, this is love kind of thing, but they just see money with you and they see some type of success and they might want you to mistake, mistake their actions and their love bombing for love and crap or something like, do you know what I mean? Like whatever they're going to do, they might want you to just believe that it's all about love, but it isn't. I don't know. I feel like you'd be like, what the fuck? What's your deal? <laughs> like, what's your deal, dude or dudette? Why are you here? And this doesn't feel like someone you're you're expecting. Because there could be someone you're thinking about that might be headed your way as well. But there's someone from the past that you would go, you know, I always wondered if you'd show up, but this is unexpected. They could even be married right now. And it really could be a Scorpio or an Aries. But anyways, yeah, someone's going to rush in. They want to change things. They want to change things between the two of you. They want to talk is what they want to do. I don't know. You just might not trust what they say. Because this feels like I rushed away. I was careless with you. Things weren't balanced. Conversation was just kind of immature and stupid. But I want to change that around and speak to you. But I don't think you'll believe me because of what was said and done before. So there's that in here as well. All right, what's up with the magician right quick? Oh, my love, my darling, I hungered for your touch a long, lonely time. <laughs> That's a song from Ghost. It's an Unchained Melody. I don't know why that popped in my head. Um, anyways, maybe that's a significant song between you and this person, or this person has just like been missing the shit out of you, and maybe you were unaware. <sighs> or you were aware and you were ignoring it. <laughs> like, I don't want that motherfucker to show up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> like, why you? Why you, of all people? could be a water sign. It really could. So we have quite a bit of water here. Um, I don't 
don't know, this person seems like an asshole or they treated you like shit for some reason, probably because they were upset or I don't know. Someone treated someone poorly is what I want to say. Three of Cups, maybe because of friends or because of third party interference. Someone's celebrating, someone's stressed, just saying. But for some of you, someone was up in their head stressed about you cheating or about you being with another person or people or something. What the fuck is this? It's definitely someone from the past. I don't know, I feel like I'm celebrating. I'm happy that you're stressed out. I'm happy that you're upset. Someone just doesn't, so yeah, this King of Cups doesn't, they've, you rejected him. You left him out of your life for some reason. And I mean, they could have rejected, for some of you, this person rejected you and you're just over it. And for others, you know, you rejected them and you were over it from the start, but I'm putting that behind me. I want to put all that behind me. Let's have a good time. All right. What's up with the eight of swords? What's all this worry about? Something to do with friends as well, like people you know. Maybe you know the same people as this past person, this person, your love interest, whoever the hell it is. Whoever is circling back around. Could be two people. A desk is significant as well. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Someone loves that you, loves your misery. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Like, I am emotionally fulfilled when you are stressed the F out. Someone's very manipulative. So this person might, whoever this is, might come in just to um, cause some stress. I don't know. It's like I want you to turn your back on something that makes you happy. I don't feel like you're turning your back on, on what fulfills you or who fulfills you. Because for some reason, I don't feel like this person's very stressed. Like, people might be trying to inflict all this worry and stress and pain on you, but she's blindfolded. Yeah, she's tied up, but it's like, I can't really see what's going on, so I'm good. So you could be totally unaware of what people are saying and doing behind your back. Someone might want to apologize about that because I did hear I'm sorry. Like, I shouldn't have said that, done that, whatever. Because um, you're overcoming whatever this is, and... I don't know, it's like a complete 180. You're shocking someone, is what it feels like. Someone's in shock because of something that was said, done, and whatever. I don't know. Um, is there anything else that we need to know before I close this out? Yeah, moving on to the next. Someone might be in shock that you moved on from your happily ever after. So if you really had a lot of feelings for someone who was your soulmate, you felt very connected to them, like a love interest or something, I feel like, like it is what it is. Because it's almost like, I feel like I want to screw this up for you so that you're miserable. So that you worry about this person, the situation, so that you're all up in your head and confused. Yay, that's what we want, you know. Um, but I feel like you moved on and you're fine. And whoever these people are, or this person is, is going, well, that backfired. <laughs> like, you just don't care. Um, that's called growth, bitches. <laughs> just saying. So you've grown a lot from this situation. It's almost like whatever people were saying about you, whatever they were doing to you, whatever issues they were causing <coughs> has only made you stronger. Someone was stalking. <clears throat> Someone turned your love interest against you as well for some of you. Someone you were interested in that you thought, you know, that you liked, that you thought, you know, things could move forward with the two of you. Um, they could have got wrapped up in a situation and maybe they're headed to jail. Someone is. Someone's headed to jail for 
for doing something and it's not just blah 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 hearsay that's not what you don't go to jail for that crap someone's going to jail for some bad stuff like stalking physically harming someone you know whatever just breaking the law breaking the law you know what i mean someone's breaking the law in some sort of way <coughs> 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 Someone was breaking the law. That feels like... Like hyperventilating almost. Or... There's someone who breathes, breathes like that. My God, I'm lisping. Maybe somebody has a speech impediment. But somebody might breathe like that on the regular. Uh, like, I don't know if they have, like, some type of lung issue or not. And this isn't Lynn, the person I was talking about, that's in the hospital and stuff. This is somebody else. I don't know if they have bad, I don't know if they have bad habits or anything like that. But regardless of their lifestyle and who this is, this person coughs, like, <coughs> like a wheezy cough. Or they, they breathe funny, like, <gasps> I don't know. And it's on the regular. Even if they have an inhaler and stuff that they, they, you can literally hear them breathe. Whoever that person is, they might be getting arrested or getting punched in the face or something or punched in the head because, um, I just heard that <laughs> someone might get, be getting punched. Um, cause I've had enough of your shit. That's what I heard. So there's someone who's not happy with that person, whoever it is. Cause I'm sticky. I'm, I've had enough of your shit someone's had enough and they're gonna pop pop someone like pop goes a weasel um yeah it's like i'm not worrying about this anymore i'm moving forward i got something to say and if you don't like it what <laughs> like touche <laughs> i don't know i just want to bitch slap someone maybe you said this to the, said that to this person like i just want to bitch slap you or you're going to want to when, when you find out whatever this person's up to or something. Whatever they had planned for you or this or whatever. Because you've, you've known all along. Yeah, it hurts. My chest hurts. It's heavy right now. Deep knowing. You know the truth about these people, this person, the situation. You're not wrong. Even if you were led to believe that you were wrong, even if people thought you were crazy, if there's gossip going around, if there's rumors, you're not wrong in whatever this is. Deep impact. Isn't that a, is that an asteroid movie or something? Huh. Something's having a deep impact on another person. Like, cause ER, like this is the emergency room. Something with that could be my video or someone going to the emergency room, being sent there, whatever. Whatever that means to you might be irking someone, but it's like it, something about that situation is having a deep impact on another person or people. It's time to go. You just know it's time to go. Stop fucking thinking and get moving. That's what it feels like because someone just needs to get out of their head and and get out of a situation, basically. They need to, yeah, because they need to get out of the never-ending story. It's time to go. It's time to go. Loyal heart. And soulmates. Go the distance with message in a bottle. Someone's going to say something. Someone wants to say something. There's lots of messages here, lots of information. Someone's really giving some given another person or people something to think about like really think about this you know like what's it mean to you whatever it is um is that all for now i just heard no <laughs> but i'm not gonna pull any more cards so give me some loving every day give me some loving somebody wants you to give them some loving or that's what you want. I'm basking in the sunshine. So someone could be in a sunny place where they're sunbathing or something. Or they're just like soaking up the rays, like all the clarity. You know, I'm basking in the sunshine and all, and all the truth. I'm just soaking it all up. Someone's soaking up all this information. 
whatever information that is. There's, I don't know. This feels like a superpower. And you know what's reminding me of is Captain Planet. With our rings combined, we are Captain Planet. So it could be... <coughs> oh, that's funny because that's what it made me think of with, with Lynn. Because I have this ring. And this her son has this one because he bought it for her. And it was annoying his pinky finger so he asked me if I could wear it temporarily I get we gotta get a chain for it so he could put it around his neck so he has that one Ow. and then um I'm having deja vu like a mofo right now just doing that wow that's cool anyways um oh my god my my shoulders hurt really bad oh I feel like they're being squeezed, like pushed down, like something heavy is on me. I don't know if that's like the weight of the world or, ouch, if like someone's pushing someone down or you're being held down by someone else. Whatever that is. Because now it's making me think of Marco Polo when you're in the pool and someone's on your shoulders. Like, Marco Polo. Which, you could do that with someone on your shoulders or playing, like, volleyball, beach balls. Maybe somebody does that. But, um, or that whole, like, it's not king of the dock, but when you wrestle each other and, you know, who can stay on someone's shoulders the longest. Who can stay on someone's shoulders the longest? Whatever that means to you could be all fun and games or it's representing someone weighing someone down like a metaphor it hurts whatever this is oh my gosh it hurts <sighs> does somebody wear a heavy backpack or something like a survival pack or something heavy that would be on both shoulders both my shoulders hurt do they represent different people oh now my neck hurts ow the hell is that Whatever that is. Maybe somebody has a kink in their neck. They're stressed. But, um, oh, Captain Planet and her roommate, which was, she was like a sister to her, basically, has a, another ring. So it's like three rings. <laughs> when our rings combined, it just, it, they could be different rings for different people and stuff in different situations. But I just thought it was kind of funny. The number three. There's three of them. And they're with three different people. So there could be three people involved in a situation as well. And you're connected. In some sort of way. You're connected to this person, these people. Um, they want to connect or reconnect with you. That's what it feels like. Because I want to be part of the light is what I just heard. Like, I don't want to be part of the problem ultimately. Someone wants to shed light on a situation as well. There could have been family issues here too. <sighs> What the fuck? I'm getting working tired again. Now I feel like I'm spinning. Like going, Ooh. Why would I do that? This reminds me of something, but why would I spin in a circle? Ooh. I know I sound really weird when I do stuff like that. Whatever that is. Someone's spinning all around, but... Maybe somebody has the spins, you know what I mean? You drink too much and you're like, whoa. <laughs> um, I don't know what the spinning's about, but sometimes stuff like that makes sense later on. Oh, I feel like I just got hit in the face. Like my cheekbone. That hurt. When someone smacks you or right here. Like, why'd you hit me? That hurt. Why'd you hit me? That hurt. Someone got smacked. Cause I don't feel like, I don't feel like this would have caused a black eye or a broken bone or anything like that. It's just, it smarts right here. Cause it look, yeah, it's like right here. Like someone going whap. So someone could smack you across the face at one point because it doesn't feel like it happened anytime soon like recently anytime soon it's not coming up it didn't happen recently it happened in the past easter is significant ouch my ribs easter significant wham gonna smash across the face 
spinning around and getting smacked. Okay, someone had you go in circles to see it, but I don't know. Someone you least expect is a problem. If they're smacking you, no matter who they are to you, the duh, they're a problem because no one should be doing that and just see it. This doesn't feel like a boyfriend or ex or, or girlfriend or wife or husband or anything. This is someone who left you out, though. Someone who made you feel less than for some reason, whether it's a quote-unquote friend or, or someone in your family. There's some unfinished business between you and that person, and you might know that they want to approach you because they're seeing something. But anyways, I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Why? Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? I do the weirdest things. Oh, there's a video where I did that. That thumbnail. There's a thumbnail. There's two of them. There's one that's just like that, like, and then there's another one that's going like this, and it has a picture of me on either side and someone else's face doing that. But this is like a kiss. My lips. Lips. Like, shh. Yeah, someone wants someone to be quiet. Because I was going to kiss someone goodbye. Well, I wasn't going to kiss anyone goodbye. I was going to go, peace. And instead I went, <laughs> like I'm kissing one finger goodbye, like, peace. This person's gone. Kiss this goodbye. Kiss this goodbye. It's just funny. I don't really have dry hands, but these two fingers, my two pointer fingers, which represent two different people to me, um, are dry as hell. Like, I have spots, like marks on my finger, literally, that are dry spots. This one's healing. This one's all wonky still. And I'm like, why is it just my two fingers? Because both the people that, this, that these fingers represent, um, they're missing their pointer fingers. Part of them. That's like, what is that noise? That's, um, um, swing, bada, 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 swing, bada, bada, bada. It's knocked us out of the park. I don't know. Maybe baseball. Um, home run, bitches. But anyways, I just thought it was weird because all my other fingers are fine. And I've been putting a lot of lotion on. I'm like trying to get it all fixed. But weird things happen to me when spirit's telling me shit too, just FYI. I just brush it off. So I'm just brushing something off like it. It's time to dust off that bottle. The person you put on the shelf. <sighs> Say hello. Alright, I'm gonna go now. Bye. <laughs>